Hello everyone, Rekt here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Ape Escape. Last time around we started off the game and went through the first three levels. Today we're going to go ahead and jump back in to the time machine. Because uh, we have finished off the lost land as an area overall. And we're now jumping into the mysterious age. Starting off with thick jungle. Jungle. I said that really weird. And I wanted to make a joke about like thick with double C or something. But then... I just this said jungle weird and everything went weird. Anyway, we have to do a tutorial for the monkey radar, but I'll tell you guys once we get into the level proper. Because, uh, yeah, I cut out the training for you guys, so you won't have to see it. Spike! The era you are heading to now is called the Age of Mystery, and it took place after the dinosaurs became extinct. Humans were probably not around during that period, but evidence of some kind of civilization has been confirmed. If the monkeys didn't have a hand in it, it would be the discovery of the century. I'd really love to investigate it, but finding the monkeys is our top priority now. As you have probably realized, approaching them while crawling or curling up often makes it easier to catch them, as they are less likely to be alarmed. Their alarm level is shown by the color of helmet lights. Blue means relaxed, yellow is alert, and red fully alarmed. Hope you find that advice helpful. Now go get him, Spike. So, how are my little lab reds doing today? My name is Spectre. I am the ruler of a new world, and the leader of a new age of Homo Apiens! Hey, you're that ape we just saw! What on earth is going on, Professor? Spectre! Aren't you that little monkey who used to perform tricks at the park? What? You, you mean that cute little white monkey that everyone loved to come and see? Well, yes, that was true, but that was a different me. Things change, and now I am blessed with supreme intellect and unlimited strength. All thanks to you and your monkey helmet, Professor. All right, Spectre. Now you listen to me. Monkey helmets, like the one you've managed to get your claws on, can tap into one's innate abilities and make them inordinately more powerful. However, you are using a prototype version which can be extremely dangerous. I'm serious now, Spectre. Hand it over at once. At once! Prototype? Even unfinished, it is still very powerful. Anyway, you're too late. We've already started working on a special advanced version to make me even stronger. <laughs> In addition... I have started beaming my monkey legions and minions to all time periods. So I can rewrite the entire history of the planet as ruled by man. Thus will I conquer the world, past and present. Making a mistake, anyone in my way will be completely destroyed. You are insane, Spectre. But Spike is on his way to capture all of your fuzzy friends. Right, Spike? Ah, yes, Spike. I have brought a very special friend for you to play with. Hmm. Jake! Spike! I finally get a chance to settle our old scores. You wait. I'll get my revenge and make you pay. Now we can set the record straight. How the...? Why is Jake over there? And what's happened to him? Look at his eyes! He's become so nasty! Jake! Snap out of it! Jake! Can you hear me? It's no use, Natsumi. Spectre obviously has him under his control. Correct assessment, my good professor. This is not the Jake that you used to know. Oh, no, 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 not at all. He's been completely reborn. Anyway, my little specimens, I'm sure you'll do your utmost to entertain me. Bye bye for now. <laughs> And with that, we get a bit more story. I, I, the story is kind of typical. Also, you can see we have four Spectre coins in this level, so it's not always one. We need to capture six out of possible 14. 
So let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, you, you get a bit more about Spectre. He's a very stereotypical evil, I want to rule the world villain. Um, and he also has captured our friend and hypnotized him. So it's not the most original storyline, but honestly, you're not really going to be playing Ape Escape for the story generally. So I don't really mind too much. We can smash those and there are those bees around or those wasps, whatever you want to call them. And they are very annoying. Die. Thank you. Uh, because in one of these, yep, there's a monkey inside and we can, come on, ah, no, that didn't go to plan at all, that didn't go to plan at all, come on, come on, ah, everything, you know what, uh, this is actually a good time to show it off, if we press select we can see all of our gadgets and yes, there will be eight overall, um, but we can cho choose what button they're on, if you wanted to remap it and say like, oh, I want my radar on triangle, you can, you can just remap it like that, which is pretty nice. But if we use this, uh, as long as you hold it, it will try to home in on where a near the nearest monkey is. So we can easily tell that he's inside this. And then catch him. And there we go. I think that's, yeah, that's only our first monkey of this area here. Oh well. It's fine. And yeah, it, it is a very good way to... How did that still hit me? I don't really feel like that should have. Come on, you can die. But yeah, we can use that very easily to figure out a good way to uh, find where monkeys are. If you ever need to find more monkeys and you can't really find any, then yeah, this is a good way to go about it. Uh, this is a pretty scary monkey as he has a gun and he can use that gun to shoot at you from long range. I don't know why we... I stunned him and then I tried to catch him and I just slipped off. Oh well, we got him now. That's all that I really want to do in this first area here. Also, one more thing I wanted to say about the story. I love their British accents. It's it's quite... quite. I, 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 I really enjoy it. Like, a lot of games tend to have, when they go for... Um, hmm, I don't think we can actually do this area yet. Because that's way too far of a jump. But yeah, a lot of games that use voice acting, English voice acting, tend to use American actors, which is fine, you know, but I, I quite like the British accent. So when a game uses British voice acting, it I always think it's quite nice because it's, you know, something different. All right, and now we're going to be on this raft here. Uh, or no, not, not yet. Uh, the raft is over here. And this can be... Uh, pretty iffy. Let, let, let's just say that. The raft controls really aren't the best. Uh, but yeah, there's a catfish living in it. He'll zap you if you're swimming. So you need to use the boat. And you tilt the analog stick in the direction you want to go. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Actually, I think it, I think it might be uh, the s second game. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the second game that makes the controls of the raft a little bit a little bit more convoluted. Uh, in this game, it is pretty easy to actually just steer it however you want to go. And we can jump out. We have to double jump because we barely get any air on our jump. And we can see there's a monkey here. We can smack him down like that and then catch him. There we go. Is there a coin around? I don't think so. So we can just jump down or climb down, fall down, whatever. It all works. It all comes down to the same. Okay, we do need to turn a little bit. And we're going to go back in the raft. We have quite a few monkeys already. This level definitely has a lot of choices and... It's kind of a shame that some of these levels aren't... You don't have all of the weapons because you can. In this level, we, we would see it later is... You know, the area we tried to go to, uh, we needed a gadget for that that we didn't have yet. So we couldn't go there. But otherwise, you know, it will like eventually like become a circle and loop around. So the levels themselves are designed quite open-endedly and, and really offer you, you know, multiple ways to go. We should set up the boat. Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't I don't need to do that. Uh, 
I think that is one thing they fixed in like the second game is that um, Can I sit in this? Yes, I can. Is that to actually activate the phone boxes you have to hit them with your stun club and here we just need to run into them or at least the first time we use them we just have to run into them so you very often accidentally get a tutorial which is a little bit annoying and anyway, we're gonna go ahead and actually s smash this until it's all the way up i think we actually want to just go out and not use our little boat because our boat is gonna be a bit too slow we have to go ahead and hit you uh one thing you might notice is that the color of monkey's pants can differ like they have the light blue pants here or the teal pants uh some of the other ones that we've seen have like yellow pants their pant color can indicate their difficulty i think yellow is like the basic difficulty um but some of the other colors can be a little bit more or less difficult to capture now what that means is not it kind of kind of depends you know some of them have like more attack options t to use or they'll be more alerted to you and will you know be uh trickier to catch because they'll run away sooner you know they'll be alerted sooner or sometimes they might have you know special other things that they can do we're gonna go ahead and go around here to get this specter coin though uh, i won't be getting all of the specter coins this first time in the area because well a lot of them we can't really get yet uh, which is fine I, I actually forget at the moment what the specter coins did so it's not really a big deal okay there's one monkey over there we could get that one we only need one more right if i'm not mistaken okay and we can see that guy over there has a gun he only has yellow pants though so he shouldn't be too tricky to capture See if we can sneak up to him. Nope, nope, he he totally caught me. So he's gonna shoot at me. Nope, I got captured by these things. I hate ah oh, yeah, he just shot me in the crotch. And that is not a nice place to get shot. But we caught him anyway, so there we go. I guess there were some more monkeys that we could have gotten there, but uh, that's okay good. we get we get kicked out so i'm fine with getting these six monkeys it doesn't really matter which ones we get now and which ones we'll get later because we'll get them all eventually anyway so without further ado let's just jump straight in to our next level because we could go back of course at any point you are free to go back to any of the levels that you want but uh we're gonna go to the dark ruins there's 13 monkeys, again, four Spectre Coins, and we need to capture six of the monkeys. I think this level actually starts to get some tricky platforming. Up to now, we haven't really seen much of it. But yeah, here we have gaps that we can fall into and, and lose health to. Previously, we've always, you know, been above, above a ledge that just made it safe to jump down oh man okay and we're gonna see enemies that take multiple hits we can probably grab this right yep and we can just slide across except it's pretty tricky to see where this enemy was there we go we all hit it twice and take it up where did the monkey go uh, i think he ran all the way up here okay yeah that's him see if we can sneak up here Nope, not ready. Ah, damn it. Well, we got him anyway. And there's this cage here. We, it looks like you could jump over it. No, it, it there's an invisible wall above it. I don't know why they, they didn't just make the bars higher, but... Yeah, there is a monkey inside it, though. So we won't want to go in there. Um, but we'll have to find a different way to enter that let's go ahead and take you out as well ah they keep keep hitting me keep hitting me i don't want them to do that um doesn't really seem to be much of anything else that we can do so we're gonna head inside these ruins now the dark ruins if you will and we have a really weird enemy here oh yeah this one splits up 
So it splits into smaller ones and then smaller ones and then smaller ones. But other than that, it's not too tricky. I do kind of like that idea that you have some enemies that you need to catch and then you have other enemies that you just need to defeat. They're just there to be defeated. Ah, oh, damn it. You didn't quite get him. I really need to improve my sneaking skills. I, I really hate it when enemies get in my way. Come on. Why? 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 I, I swear, spinning around doesn't really work as well as you would like. That's one thing that they really improved in um, Ipskip 2 because you have dual sticks. You can actually control the direction of your... Um, damn it, there were cookies right there too. Uh, you can actually control the direction that you want to use an item in much better because you choose um, what direction you want to make it go with the right analog stick, which works really, really well. But unfortunately, this game was made when there was only one analog stick and therefore you just always hit in front of you. And it's not always the best way to go about things. I think this is too slippery, yeah. Too slippery indeed. Um, this is gonna collapse. But we can jump across it. This looks a bit weak, but yeah, you can't actually go through that. So we're gonna jump over that. I don't know if we can walk on this. We can. Okay, good. Then we'll walk outside again. And I think this... Right, this puts us up here. First of all, we're going to push this block down. Because I think, yeah, that opens up like a big gap there. I think there is a monkey. Yeah, there is a monkey up here. I knew it. I knew there would be one. Sneaky monkeys always hiding around. But I think that's good, you know. They, they hide the monkeys, but since... Since you're basically, you know, expected... Or, or you have the radar, you know, since pretty early on. So you can... Quite easily... Um, find them, even if they are hidden. I shouldn't have crawled there. There we go, we got them anyway. So I, I don't mind that they hide monkeys. It's actually fun to try and find them. And I sometimes like to try and find them, you know, without actually using my radar uh, just to see if I can okay, but we can jump down here I don't know what's in this hole anymore I forget hmm, I guess a cave oh well, we'll go in here ooh it's a geodude and it's on fire and we can kill it and get, get a lot of cookies Way more cookies than we even need. Come on. There we go. We got you. Oh, and that's a jacket. That's an extra life. So now we're back up to five lives. Uh, there is this monkey here. And you can see that he will step on the switches. And that causes the wind to come out. And he shoots missiles at you. All in all, he's quite a pain. Uh, what we can do is crawl over this ledge and this is tricky but we want to do this ah no dang it like i said that's really tricky and if you fall off yep it's you lose a life you don't lose a cookie you immediately lose a life so that 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 makes it a bit tricky um I guess we could just do this too and get up here for this monkey, which is maybe a bit of an easier capture, but we do need two more. There's the specter coin up there. Oh yeah, that's, that's what the, oops, that was a bad idea. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Why am I timing this so poorly? I am really timing this poorly. I'm going to die. Nope. Oof, back at full health. I'm gonna try this again, I think. I like crawling, 
but I don't think it really is a good way to get around corners. But we'll try it. Yes! Okay, we did it. This time. This time it worked out. Can go all the way up top here. Get that one. I'm not sure if we're actually able to get this monkey over here because of the... Oops. Yeah, because he shoots the missiles, he does the wind. I'm going to come back for him later. I mean, we could probably crawl... If he's not alerted. But it would take long. And I'm just gonna go ahead and look for some other monkeys instead. We'll leave that guy. For now. For now. We'll come back. We can come in here. And now we're in the cage we saw earlier. We can easily just capture this monkey that's right at the entrance here. I think there might be a specter coin inside here as well. Um, although I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like, yeah, there is, right up here. Um, I'm not sure if there's other monkeys around in this cage. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Ow, I keep forgetting there's full damage. Kind of wish there wasn't any, but... That's okay. Uh, I guess we do have to go back in. I guess either we have to capture this one or uh, we'll have to go further in the level. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see if we can attempt to sneak up to him. Because right now he doesn't see us. And neither do... Nope. Damn it, damn it, ah. That's not good, that's not good. Oh, come on, that hitbox on that looked so bad. Ah. But yeah, you can get all the way up there and then he'll just push you back, which is annoying. We'll need to wait for him to calm down again. Yeah, I, I don't really care to get that one. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a different one. Because that one is a little bit annoying to get, in all honesty. Um, but we will, we will get that monkey when we go back through this level. Come on! I tried to hit you and I keep failing. So instead we'll do some platforming. Cross these pillars. Pretty sure there's like a monkey hidden on that pillar platform there. Uh, maybe we should try to get that one instead. Come on. There we go. Hit you out of the sky. Uh, yeah, we can see. And can't we press... Yeah, we can press L then, and then you can see uh, some stats on the monkey. Because they all have their own speed, attack, alert. They have a different level, and they have a name as well. Because this one is called Spark and a little um, thing. We can read all about that. And there is actually, like, an encyclopedia full of all of the monkey info um and we we'll probably check that out once we have all of them but there we go captured you just like that and that is that level done as well so six monkeys captured once more pretty good indeed there were some that we didn't capture, like that annoying rocket one, but some of them will be easier to capture later on. Anyway, I think that is a good point to end things off here. So for now, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time when we capture some more apes.